One of the most beautiful places on earth for landscape photography is the sand dunes of Death Valley National Park and I'm going to take you with me for a photo shoot in the dunes for a sunrise and a sunset. So sit back, enjoy and follow along. This video is brought to you by Photography Academy where you can learn the simple four-step system that will change your photos forever. You know, one of the places I absolutely love so much is this place right here, the Mesquite Dunes in Death Valley National Park. It is the most magical place. We're completely alone. It's just, there's no sound anywhere. There's no real wind right now. It's late February and yet it's still really nice and warm. And there are just a million and one different compositions that you can find here. I just found this interesting one behind me of these dead sticks that are coming up out of the sand and the, the shadows from the sticks are making some long lines. The sun is just about to set maybe in five or ten minutes so I actually included the sun in the shot. I want a starburst so I went up to I think f14, yes f14. Hopefully I'll get a starburst from that but um, now the next objective is just to try and get up on a height of land or onto a higher dune before the sun sets so we're off. If you like watching photography adventure videos, that's the type of content I have on this channel. So I would really appreciate it if you would hit the red subscribe button right now and hit the little bell beside it so that you won't miss any of my new videos. It's that time, the time that I actually don't like. Now we have to walk out of the dunes. I actually don't even wanna leave. It's been a magical little dunes experience even though we've only been here on the dunes for about one and a half hours. We got some great shots, but it's more than being here just for the photography. I'm definitely here for the experience. The experience of walking right now with no shoes, no socks on, just in my bare feet and feeling the warmth of the evening. It's so dry, so different than back home in the Pacific Northwest where it's cold and raining and the sky is blue. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and it's what February the 24th middle of winter it just makes this place so unique and then there's the visual aspect as well all of these lines that I'm walking across right now I actually feel guilty for even messing them up with footprints but all of these patterns and shapes that have been made by the wind it's incredible so until tomorrow So it's the next morning and it's cold. It's so quiet. It was windy overnight. So that means that uh, the footprints seem to have been washed away with the wind. So now we have that race against the sun to try and find a beautiful location before the sun rises. So we get that glorious, warm, soft light. The sun is just like this. I, I don't want to say the sun is just, but the light is just starting to show on the eastern horizon so we still have time but we don't know if we're gonna get a good spot yet so we march on deeper and deeper into the dunes so we have maybe 10 minutes until sunrise and we found a spot I'm not sure We've got the leading line, but I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Leading line is always nice. The right hand side will lit with warm light. The left side will be dark. I think we're just out of time and we have to kind of go with this. We're just running down one last little look at the base of this one right here to see if this might be better but we're definitely racing against time the sun is going to be cresting really really soon and here it is uh what's interesting is that it's skylighted there is a leading line 
There's an interesting stick at the base. The problem is, look at that sky. It's almost game time. The funny thing about these sand dune setups is that you never really find the perfect spot. You just kind of have to say, okay, this is just gonna have to do. It's always this series of compromises. But this will be shot number one. We'll get it before the sun comes up and uh, we still have the interesting soft light. Take a look. And we've got that curved leading line there. I like that. It does look kind of cool. ISO 100, F9. Just on a whim, I'm going to try a four second shot here and see what happens. Focus point one third in. Back button focus. I'm liking it. It is it is really nice. Question is how much sky I don't want. I don't want too much sky. The sky is not this shot, but that curved leading line on the left is the shot. And there's another one that kind of balances it out over on the right. So I am having trouble with the focus. So I'm just zooming in a little bit and then use the manual focus ring. And I've got it right there. Zoom back out and bam. Beautiful. Now I'm going to shoot a panel. It's just the most beautiful light. What a gift it is to be out here on the desert to experience this. And if it wasn't for landscape photography, I wouldn't even know this exists. And one vertical just kind of for safety a standalone vertical really 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 beautiful i'm loving it Amazingness, amazingness, amazingness. I love being here. We're the only ones in this whole area of the dunes. It's totally quiet. It's getting warmer again. Beautiful light. Like what more can you ask for? Just so incredible. Okay, I can ask for one more thing and that would be like the most amazing composition that the world has ever seen. But I haven't found it yet. <laughs> We're trying to make it to the top of this little sand mountain, but it's not so little. They're always way bigger than they look. Before we leave these dunes, we have to get some photos of, of this dried mud. It's hard, it's white, and there's sand all between. Like it's so perfect, the patterns, that it actually looks like it's man-made. It actually looks fake, but it's not fake. So we'll hammer out some quick photos here. Okay, I know this looks totally crazy, but uh, getting the camera really low just makes these, these cracks that are full of sand really big. 
just makes it really look cool. Just really different. Since we're in Death Valley and since we rented a sort of four x four, some all wheel drive thing, we gotta go exploring. There's a road ahead, it leads to a canyon. No one's out here, it looks totally fun, let's go. If you love exploring and photography, then you need to know how to use my four step system to taking stunning photos. Learn more about it. Go to photographyacademy.com. There's a button there where you can watch my free web class and I will tell you how you can be using my four step system to take stunning jaw dropping photos. I'll see you there. Woo!